Hello, welcome, I'm back. It's been a while. I don't know the last time that I uploaded a video, but it has been maybe two months. I was on a bit of a hiatus and I thought my first video back would be just a life update, what's been going on. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've picked up the camera, since I've spoken to the camera, so let's just get into it. So this semester, if you don't know, I am in my second year of naturopathic medical school. So I would say that this semester was probably the hardest semester so far. So I started off the semester and I was continuing my job at the health food store. So I'm still a nutritionist there and I was working every Saturday. This was kind of working at the beginning, but as the semester kind of picked up, I started to feel unwell again, so I did have to take a medical leave from my job and I was off for about a month. So that was a lot to juggle work and school, especially since I wasn't really anticipating that I was going to have to go to school every single day. Monday to Friday because last year in second semester we only really had to be at school for I think it was three days out of the week and then there was two days that you kind of could pick and choose there was one day where we had like an online class but the other day you could kind of pick if you wanted to actually go to school so yeah that was a lot and I am trying to figure out as this semester begins how to juggle that. And I also ended up getting a second job, but this job was connected to school. So it was a lot of work on my own time and it wasn't as many hours. So I kind of just did the hours as I had the time to basically. So it wasn't a lot of hours but it was still another thing that I had to keep track of and I had to do certain things for. There were some events that I had to be at school for and had to plan those. So yeah, very busy, very overwhelming. And there was one course this semester that has been literally the bane of my existence. This will be the last semester of this course. So hopefully next year, third year will be better. <laughs> and i've been talking to a lot of upper years and they've been kind of saying the same thing that you just kind of have to get through these rough years and then fourth year especially is the year where everything starts to make sense and i've been thinking about this a lot with my channel and everything because i want to share certain parts of school but I'm also feeling like school is really heavy and sometimes I just want to not think about school even though I feel like I'm constantly studying all the time and it's like the biggest part of my life at the moment but I'm not, this is going to sound bad, but I'm not really enjoying the journey as I thought I would and like I said like a lot of students who have gone through the program they have said that as well so I'm just kind of taking things as it goes and I have let the mentality of grades being the be all end all I've left that to the winds because I think it would severely impact me emotionally because in undergrad I was always that kind of student and even high school I was always that student that really strived for perfection and if I didn't get the highest grades that I could get then I felt really dumb but I'm kind of reframing that because I know that studying and regurgitating information is not how the real world works and I do find myself like I know a lot of this content is just multiple choice exams. It's kind of like the luck of the draw. They can only test you on so many questions when there's like so much information that you have to learn. So that might not be a reflection of the information that you know really well. 
I know that I'm smart and I know that I know that the courses that I'm actually applying knowledge that I'm learning I am thriving at so that's that on school as for my health I did mention that I took some time off of work because my health wasn't the greatest I also had to take some time off of the gym which I'm hoping to get back into I find that stress and this is probably very common knowledge but I find stress is my hugest trigger and there was constant stress in this semester and it really caused my health to go downhill in the summer I was trying to come off of prednisone prednisone is one of the medications that I've been on for my autoimmune disease I've had my autoimmune disease since I was 14 and I've been on and off prednisone throughout the years. I came off of prednisone once for a couple of years and then I had to go back on it right before the year before I got diagnosed with cancer. So I've been on prednisone for like, I don't know, like three years again now. And it's just one of those drugs that I really don't want to be on long term. I know that right now, um, and especially the last three years, I really needed it but I was trying to come off of it in the summer. I was thriving and I was down to like five milligrams, but now I'm back up to my original dose, which was only 15 milligrams. It's not as high of a dose as I've usually been on um, in the past, but that was a bit discouraging. But I will say that I did need it. I did need to come back on it to get through the semester and I will hopefully be able to wean off it again, potentially in the summer. I am really working on managing my stress. I feel like I continually get better at managing stress the older I get, but I still want to find more ways to more healthily cope with stress. And that means being continuously organized and perfecting my studying strategies. I know, okay, back, back a little bit to school. I know a couple of people have asked me to make a video about how I study and to be honest, I'm still trying to figure that out. I feel like each year has been different and they, I've tried some methods that like really, really didn't work and then I've tried some methods that have kind of worked. But like I said, I'm in the phase of, I'm just trying to get through this trying to learn as much as I can without putting that pressure on the grade because at the end of the day when I'm somebody's doctor they're not going to ask me oh what percentage did you get in this one course they're going to know me and trust me because of my experience and how well I come across as their doctor and how well that I'm treating them in that moment so also, I am waiting to see a cardiologist next week. I have been experiencing some heart palpitations and it's been kind of happening since the summer, but again, I feel like stress is a huge trigger, so that also happened again, um, but more frequently throughout the semester as it got heavier. I did just want to get it checked out. I had this ECG a couple years ago when I had my surgery to relocate my ovaries and they did an ECG and they said that I had this like Wolf Parkinson White syndrome and if I ever had any of the symptoms which is like heart palpitation, feeling like you're gonna faint, shortness of breath, that kind of stuff to just get it checked out to show your doctor. So I did show my doctor and she just put in a referral. So hopefully that that's just nothing but I again just wanted to get it checked out because that's kind of scary when you're experiencing those kind of things and it actually happened um, the last time I went to the gym so I've been a little bit hesitant to go to the gym but I when I go eventually go back I'm just gonna go back slowly the other thing that I wanted to talk about which I feel like has been my main interest as of late is I have been reading a lot. Reading has been something that I picked back up when I was going through everything that I was going through with the cancer and really provided me some comfort and I feel like it's also been something that has kept me sane throughout this journey of school and finding the time to read before bed has really helped me calm myself and be able to get quality sleep and 
there's just so many benefits to um, reading that I feel like it's also brought me closer with um, some of my friends from high school. We started a book club, if you've been watching my channel for a while, we started a book club this past summer and it's been a really great opportunity for us to get together and talk about a book if we all collectively like a book or if we all collectively just really don't like a book we can like bond over it and it's just really nice to stay connected and in saying that i've been really wanting to do some more videos related to books and book content it's just i feel like i've been a little hesitant to which i shouldn't be because i I think also why I took such a long break is I wasn't feeling super inspired. I The whole reason I started my channel was to share my journey, share my cancer journey, share my story in hopes that other people will find it and they won't feel alone. And I feel like I have accomplished that because it has been super rewarding to be able to connect with so many people who have gone through similar experiences that I have and to be able to build community from that and to just get comments from people saying that me talking about one of the experiences that I've gone through has really helped them. That's been really rewarding to me and I do want to continue to make those kind of videos but and also saying that I've reached the point of survivorship where I feel like I've almost kind of run out of things to talk about. I feel like uh, there's still going to be videos where I talk about certain experiences but I feel like I'm finally at that place where I'm healed. Like don't get me wrong, there's definitely days where I still think about the things that I go through and it makes me sad or it makes me feel like really reflective but we're coming up on three years since my diagnosis that'll be january 26 and i feel like i've changed a lot this last year in a really positive way and i really want to share more health related content as i continue to try and get back to thriving and I also want to really share a lot of book content because I feel like that has been something that has really helped, like I said, with my well-being and it's just something that I've become really passionate about. I really want to write books one day. I feel like that's always been something that I've wanted to do. I used to be a really big reader when I was younger and I used to write stories and that kind of thing and I remember some of my teachers saying that I was able to write stories really well and I've always wanted to be an author and I really want that to come, yeah, become into fruition in the next couple of years so yeah that is a big goal but I feel like I'm really pulled to do that. I am studying to become a naturopathic doctor and that is a huge thing that I am really passionate about. I'm really passionate about integrative medicine, but the creative half of me, I'm very interested and very passionate about writing and telling stories and making an impact. So I do plan on writing potentially some fiction books, but then I also, I feel like I've, I think I've maybe shared this, but I do want to eventually write a memoir. I think that one's going to take a little bit longer because I'm going to have to go back and read a lot of the journal entries that I wrote during that time and I feel like it's going to bring back a lot of sadness but I think it's going to pay off in the end. Yeah, And I also feel like I'm procrastinating the memoir of writing because I want it to be perfect but I feel like I just have to sit down and just write whenever I feel the moment is right to recount a certain experience so that will hopefully be coming in the future but i think what's been making me hesitant about posting some of these videos is i'm worried that people that already follow me won't like those kind of videos but i do also have to remember that this is a creative outlet for me the reason i started this 
was yes, I wanted to help bring awareness and to help others feel less alone, but I also brought it, I also started it because I was feeling lonely, isolated, and I wanted something that I could work towards. I'm always that kind of person that I can't really sit still for that long period of a time and I really had to take time off during my cancer journey and I really felt fulfilled making videos because it was something that I was working towards so and then also the pressure of having to post every single week I do want to try to post more often hopefully one video a week but if you don't see a video a week you know that I am deep in the trenches of school and another thing about the book content is I felt like I needed to be all in with it that that had to be that has to be like my whole entire channel which I don't want that like like I said I want to still continue to share um, experiences and health related things it doesn't have to be an all or nothing thing and the other part too is i know that a lot of people that do share book content they do read like 100 to 200 books a year which is really not realistic for me i have read the most books this year that i've read ever i've read 50 books and i feel like that is a lot for me especially with being a student full-time and working but then I also think, well, that would be really relatable to a lot of people. So let me know what you think, what kind of videos that you would be interested in seeing from me. I want to thank all of you for your patience while I have been on this hiatus trying to figure things out. I am going to uh, probably film a couple of book videos today, but if you want to see another video, then let me know. I do have a couple of health videos also in the works in my brain. And again, thank you for sticking around. I hope you all had a very happy holiday season. I am right now just resting and resetting and just taking this time for myself before getting back into the craziness and the busyness of school and work and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.